Hello everyone, this is Lolly. We are back for part two of this adorable mini music album. And I am doing this for my December Daily. This is the front cover and I said I would do off camera the back cover. So I want to show you what I did. I just use a solid and you see I am missing a part because I just used a scrap here. I figure what is the point of using a full sheet when this will never be seen. So in the patterns that I have given you, and I will give you a link down below to the entire series, you will want to watch the first, um, the first video which shows how to actually do all this assembly. So what you're going to get is this music album cover template and the music record album itself. What I recommend is printing one for your pattern notebook. I have all the downloads that I give you. You can put them all in one notebook. And then you can also print out this on cardstock and just slide it in the sleeve. I want to show you though, I forgot to mention last time, when you are printing, look at the difference between these two. Your printer's normal way of printing a PDF is fit to page, which is about 96% of actual size. So you always want to click more settings and then print actual size. Then you will get the one that actually fits the six inch paper. You will trace that and then that will give you this piece right there. So then you take this and just put this in your sleeve. But the beauty of having this is you will remember then what that piece is for. Same thing with the actual record album itself and the label. Just put those together like that. It'll make your life so much easier. So let's go ahead and glue this together on the sides. And I'm not gluing the little, the little piece here. I'll show you what I mean. The paper collection I'm using is um, Echo Park Christmas Salutations, and I have the full kit for this in my shop. I'll give you a link underneath this video for that too. So what I mean is I'm, I didn't glue this little part right here. And when I uh, was just sitting down taking a break one day, I went ahead and made several albums ahead. So this is our back cover and I went ahead and made some albums. Now I think I will put the green one in here for so it would look a little different than all that red. And in video one I give you the instructions on how to do how to assemble the the music album itself that. Okay so that is our back cover and this will be Christmas Day, so I will be adding the more details to that later, except that I did take this. I went through this paper pad and the ephemera, the journaling cards, etc. that I'm giving you in the kit, and I took out the ones that pretty much sounded like they could be uh, songs. So the most wonderful time of the year made me think of that, and you can see that when I cut out my pattern, this was left over from the cardstock, so I'm utilizing that instead of throwing that away. Now I am actually going to put this down and down and to the right just a little bit. I also use the die. The die is extra. It's not. It's uh, in addition to the kit. It's not part of the kit, but it's also in my shop. And I wanted to put some holly here from that die. Holly and berries. I think I will come down here. Okay, what I plan on doing uh, with these albums is that these can actually be used as a journaling spot if you're using the white gel pen, or you can journal in here, and you could still put photos on it, especially on the back, which doesn't have the label there. So that's an idea for that. I don't usually decorate the absolute back cover because it's just sitting on counters, you know, on my coffee table, and I just don't usually see the need. Now, when I cut this out, I had something left over that I want to show you, and that is this. You notice I left the part that has the hole. So what I'm going to do on the inside of my front cover is I'm gonna use this as a pocket. I could do it this way, but I think I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to glue the sides and bottom. This would be great for holding journaling cards, so up the sides. There we go, and I want it to go sideways. 
And yes, I have a hole there, which doesn't bother me. But now you see this, this can hold journaling cards. I have a hole here and I could cover that up. Okay, I could use another strip. I could um, do some other decoration, but let me look first in our journaling, our ephemera packs and see what I have in there that I like. Okay, we've got the ephemera pack and I want something rather small which we have plenty of small items in here. I'm looking at the back, which is great. You can look in here and you can see what you have. So we have these, we have banner pieces, we have ho, ho, ho. I think I wouldn't be able to see that very well, but this would show up and that would show up. I think I'm gonna go with this. Now what I'm going to do is glue it around, but not in the center, because I don't want to glue that hole shut so that I can still put things in the pocket. If I were to cover this completely with glue and push it down, I would be gluing the pocket shut right in that spot. Okay, so let's set these aside. Okay, so that is the inside. Now I need the, day, the, the next thing right here. Another thing I could have done was put day one, remember how I printed off these here, and I can do that still. This is a one inch hole punch, but you can cut these out by hand. This is definitely going to be day one for me. And I think what I'll do is put it over here where it's nice and white. That way you can see it really well. Instead of putting it over here where it gets kind of lost. Now we need day two. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do just a page, a regular page. Let me cut off this branding strip. Okay, so now this is what it's going to be like. I'm going to punch those holes again. Uh, it'll affect my decorating. Okay, so this will be that day. I have cut a, a six inch wide, three inch strip, and I have this, which is the branding strip from one of the other things I have cut off, and I'm going to glue that on the top of the pocket. And again, I see that there's a hole here, but we're going to work around that. So I'm going to put that right up there and then glue this on as a pocket. Oops, we don't want that at all. So here's the thing, with this journal, you can do every page from now on as just a regular page, or you can do every page as a music album, but I think I'm going to do, I'm going to vary it up. Okay, so we have this pocket, we have that hole there that we're not really fond of. So what I have is this set of snowflake dies that I have from Elizabeth Crafts, and it's part of this entire Christmas, uh, classic Christmas set, and I love it. So I have been cutting out some snowflakes and I'm going to put a snowflake right there but I also need a day so this was going to be day two you could make this whole spread day one but then what's going to happen is you're going to run out of room on your rings here so I'm going to cut out I'm going to go green again or maybe let me think here I'm going to go ahead with the two but I'm going to do it square so I'm going to just cut this out there we go. I don't do too much of popping up my embellishments on the inside of journals because it, it really makes it so thick. And I want room to be able to add all of my uh, journaling cards and my photos and whatnot throughout the, the season. This would be awesome album for just Every page is a music album. Okay, I wanna make sure I got that right, and I do need to cut that again. Now, on this side, I'm going to go ahead and decorate this, and I have this idea. I have these, these are stickers, and they are for holding business cards. So you could put your business card on a box or something, for instance. I got these from Amazon, and I'm just gonna center that under the joy here, there. Now, let me get my Ergo bone folder out. Now, this is, it's a pocket right now. So, in other words, it's a good way for you to put a photo or a journaling card in there. Or, you can do like I'm going to do and just add some little shaker bits in there. I have this Ice White from Nuvo. 
you could stick with translucent ones and that would be really fun because you could, oops, that didn't work. I'd like to use the tweezers because then I can get them in there. Another thing is around this time of year, sometimes Target in their dollar spot has square four by four ones of these pockets. And in that case, you could just cut it down to size. I'm going with some of these translucent chunky glitters that I also got from, from Target a long time ago because I think that the translucent ones will be really great. Okay, I'm gonna put that here and use this to pour it in. And with translucent, you can still see the writing, you know. I also have this, which is called Coffee Carnival Mix. These get kind of, you know, they need to be shaken up now and then. They've got these little tiny carnival candies in there, if I can. We call these Starlight Mints in the US, but I think other places may call them carnival candies. And some, these, some of these are, look like red, white, and brown, like sprinkles. There. Now, I don't want too much because I just, I do want it to shake, but I don't want so much that it's, you know, going to obliterate my writing there, the season of joy. I think we could still read that. Now, we just need to seal this top up. And I think what I'm going to do is just tape it shut and then cover my tape scotch tape okay so we probably need about four inches don't we let's see we need a strip of paper that is ooh three and seven eighths by three quarters three and seven eighths by three quarters could have i think um three quarters is probably a little much so i'm going to put that on there but then i'm going to have to adjust then I'm going to go around and trim off all the excess paper I've got here. I've got some. You can also make your own pocket with just a little sheet of acetate you've got from some packaging and something that you've ordered. All right, so that holds that down. Now I think it's so kind of bland up there that we need to add something to it. Jingle bells, let's do that. And that will go right in the center. There we go. I'm looking at these here, I like them, but I think what I want to do is add some of those enamel dots on them. And these are in the kit that I have listed underneath this video. I'm going to go with the matching ones. There are different sizes. And I want to accentuate these snowflakes. Oh, that, that just really perks it up. I think I like that a lot. Okay, so you have day one, day two. Now we need three on this one. However, as you see, it's so busy. The question is, will I have room to kind of document this particular day? Well, the, what we can do is make the next page. This whole layout is day three or... We could make this day three and any photos that I have, just punch holes in them and the journey card and just insert them in there, which is what I think I'm going to do. So let's look at my numbers. This is also a download as part of the part of the downloads that I have for you. And see how that just fits right in there. But I think I'll go down here just to vary it up a little bit. There we go. So now we have that, day one, two, three. One last quick item is I'm going to go ahead and make the album cover for the next page. And I think I'm going to use this red plaid. I'm going to get out my template and trace that. Okay, I traced this. Now all I need to do is cut that out. And then instead of erasing my pencil marks, I'm going to uh, just take some distressing to the edge so you won't see it. And then what we have left over on the right will be another pocket for another day. There we go, and I have the black. We're going to glue that in place. 
Now I need just a saying or something for the front there. Okay, happy holidays, home for the holidays. And these are the actual cut aparts that I give you in the kit. So let's see what we have here. I like that, that would be very bold. Merry and bright, happy holidays to you. So a lot of these are lyrics to Jingle All The Way. That's really pretty too. I like them all. I think I'm going to go with this one. I do like the idea of using a vertical one. So let's get that mounted. And I'm thinking I will mount that on black. It gives it just a little bit of notability. <laughs> you can see it a little better. I don't want a very big mat, uh, so I think I might even go with 1 16th. These are the layering guides. I'll put the 1 16th up against the border of the card that I'm matting. Just make sure you push down with your non-dominant hand, the hand that's not cutting, so that the ruler doesn't move. So I'm pushing down with my left hand while I'm scoring or cutting with the right. And also make sure that your, um, your blade on your craft blade is straight up and down or perpendicular and not leaning out at an angle. That way you get the same cut every time. There we go, perfect. Now we've got that. Let's put that on our album. Let's cut the holes first. And again, I'm not using foam tape because I do want it to mat to be pretty flat. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to add a couple of these and I'm going to use some small ones. I think I'm going up here and down here like that. And let's get a couple snowflakes. Let's grab those tweezers and glue those on here. I like that this set has so many snowflakes in it. I totally forgot that I had just bought this set. I'm so happy to have it. So let's put that together so far. I like putting the album together um, as I go, so it, it just really makes it feel like it's coming together. Oh, you know what we need is number four. So we've got to find a way to put four in here. I'm going to use the green, and then I'm going to use the round one. And let's just put that down there. I'm trying not to overthink this. Don't lose sleep trying to figure out where to put your numbers. I usually put them on the edge of my pages because I like that look. But since we're doing music albums this time, I don't think I'm going to do that. And let's put one of these in there. And let's go ahead and put our back cover on. Oops, wrong way. I should have done this. And then next time we will decorate the back of this and move on and get several more pages. So that's the way we got to keep this moving along. And that's what we have so far. Love it. And this is such a fun project. As always, thank you for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful time creating your album.